Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this OpenTX snippet, I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to get battery voltage information and alerts on your TX16S. For this demonstration, I'll be using the Toolkit RC P200 power supply with a couple of leads connected to ultimately this receiver via a servo connection. So you can see I've got power on this receiver and that's coming from the P200. Now the reason I want to do it this way is because I'm going to show you how to bind and we can make a voltage adjustments really easily by turning the P200 knob up and down and we can turn the power on and off which makes binding very easy. So let's get started. Don't worry about the equipment, I'll have links in the description so you know where to get it if you need your own. The first thing we'll do is power the receiver off and I'll do that by pressing the power button on the Toolkit RC P200. Then I'll put the receiver in bind mode by pressing the bind button right here on the front of the receiver and then I'll turn the power back on. And there we go, that'll put it in bind mode and you can tell because there's a green and red solid light in there. Next up you'll need your radio and if you're using a multi-module put it in FreeSky X D16 mode and just click on bind and select channels 1 through 8 telemetry on. And when you do that, you should see that red light immediately start blinking. That means we've got a good bind. Finally, we'll power cycle the receiver by turning it off and then back on again. And that's it. We've got a nice bind with our radio and we're ready to move on with the rest of the settings. We do need to make one mechanical connection and that's to the VBAT line. If you look at the receiver right on the top, you'll see S bus and there's signal plus and minus. Those first three pins are for S bus. The very next pin says bat. That's the one we're interested in. So if you count this top row of pins from the right, it's the fourth pin over. So I'll just count from the right, one, two, three, four, and connect my V bat lead on that fourth pin. Just like that. Then the last thing you need to do is connect the other end of your VBAT line to your main. So imagine that this is my battery, right? So the power supply is doubling up as my battery. I would connect this to an XT60, just solder it onto the XT60 lead coming off the battery connection on the ESC. But to simulate that connection, I'm just gonna connect it to the positive lead of my power supply. Okay, a single lead coming off the flight battery positive lead going into the VBAT connector on the R168. Now I'm going to take this whole arrangement and set it aside so we can focus on the radio. Now that our receiver's bound, the next step is to add our telemetry sensors. So click on model and page left, and that'll bring you right to the telemetry screen and click on discover new sensors. And you should see right away, we have RX bat at 3.7 volts, which is not quite correct because if you look on my power supply, I'm sending at 5.1 volts. So we have to make an adjustment there. We can stop discovery. Now scroll up to the receiver battery sensor, which is number four in this case, long press the jog dial and click edit. For the ratio, just increase it until the number that you see on your radio matches the number you see on your power supply. If you don't have a power supply like this, it's fine. You can use a multimeter and that'll work just as well. So I'll go ahead and start scrolling up. And what I'm looking for is for my onboard sensor to read 5.1 volts, which is what I'm outputting to that receiver right now. There we go. 18.1 is my offset. Now we can go back and you'll see that my widget is reading 5.1 volts, just like I've got on my power supply. If you're curious about the widget, I'll show you how to do that too. Click on the telemetry button and then under setup widgets, find the place that you'd like to locate your widget. In my case, I put it in the bottom right of my screen, which is right here. I'll long press the jog dial and hit select widget. From there, we're looking for the option called value. Press the jog dial on value. And then under source, look for your telemetry sensor. In my case, it's RX bat. So I'll just scroll until I see that RX bat sensor. One thing that's real important on OpenTX, once you see that sensor, it should be available as a source. If you don't see it as a source, it's probably because you haven't found it as a sensor. Something's not right. So here we go. It should be coming up here. RX bat. Also pay attention that there's RX bat, there's RX bat minus and RX bat plus. We want RX bat. And I want my text to be black in this case, so I'll set my RGB values all the way down to zero. And if you want, you can put a shadow underneath, but it uses black for the shadow, so it really doesn't good, look good if you use black text. With that, I'll just hit return. We go back to the main screen now, and you can see I've got my RX battery voltage right there on the bottom of the screen. The next thing we need to do is create some logic. 
press on the model button and then press page left until you get to the logical switches screen. I've already got my logical switch set up, so I'll just run you through the settings that I used. In logical switch number four, I used the function A is less than X. For the sensor, I used RX bat, just like in the widget setup. This third column is the voltage value you're interested in hearing about. You have to understand in my case, I'm using the P200 to supply power to the receiver and VBAT. The VBAT on the R168 can go all the way up to 18 volts, but RX power shouldn't go any higher than six. So for that reason, I can't give you a demonstration showing 18 volts unless I powered them from two different supplies. But that's okay, we can show what we need to show by using five volts as our interesting voltage value. I threw a little curve in here with the exclamation SA down in the AND field. And the reason I did that is because we're flying around and the radio decides to give us an alert. We may want to tell it, stop talking. <laughs> I understand the battery is low, stop talking. What this does is it allows me to flip my SA switch to the down position and that'll negate L04, which means we'll stop getting alerts. The next step is to create a couple of special functions utilizing L04. So you can see on special function number one, I've got L04 playing the value. RX bat and it does that every 10 seconds. So when L04 illuminates, the radio will give me the RX bat sensor every 10 seconds. And then the second special function I have when L04 goes active, will also play a sound called siren. Okay, the next thing we'll do is go over to the power supply and lower the voltage and that should trigger L04 to go active. So right now I'm at 5.1 volts and if I bring that voltage down just one tenth, that puts us right just above five and I'll roll the voltage down one more notch and that should trigger L04 to go active. 4.9 There it goes. L04. 4 .9 volts. L04 is active and we're getting our alerts. There's our beep beep beep. 4.9 volts. Now if we don't want the radio to repeat the alert or the beeps, we can just push SA down and that negates L04 and the radio will be quiet. And keep in mind that doesn't change what's displayed on the front of the screen. Well, I hope you liked that video on how to set up an R168 with VBAT input so you can monitor your flight voltage while you're flying and how to set up logic so you can have your radio tell you when you've hit an interesting voltage threshold. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen. And then I'm going to put the receiver in bind. This third column is the voltage value that you're most... In this third column is the voltage value you're... I threw a little curve in here by adding ampersand SA.